Hi guys, welcome to Winsome Cottage Garden. My name is Hannah and I'm so glad that you decided to join me today. We are in the cottage garden and it is time to finally do some spring cleanup here. We are in zone 6B along Michigan's west coast where if you're looking at the mitten, we're about here-ish. Uh, so it is a little further north, but because we're so close to Lake Michigan, it's a little bit temperate and spring is a little bit slow here. Though it is slow, it has started to pop. We actually have some crocus in this bed already. Uh, and it's time for us to start quickly getting the leaves that accumulate here out before things get too far along in their season and they're damaged by the heavy leaf load on top of them. We have spent a lot of time in this bed in the last little while. It's the main bed right outside the front door of the cottage, as you can see right here. And it's an area that where leaves really collect because of how our wind blows. And in addition to the leaves collecting, it gets a lot of water, it's very damp, and then they become layered very quickly. So it's a deep layer that can be hard to penetrate. Even though it's hard to penetrate, you can see right here, we already have some beautiful crocus coming up. We've got some hellebores that are blooming. And it's time for us to kind of rescue them before they get too far along. We also have some, there's a little quick fire hydrangea standard here and two, what are these things? Incredible hydrangeas that I'm also going to prune while I am in this space. In addition, we have a lot of uh, ferns at the back. There's some uh, forget-me-nots that are starting to poke through. They'll do a lot better without the leaves here as well. There's some hookerellas, a roadie. I've got some, uh, they're hard to see, but those are actually bluebells, English bluebells that are poking through. And there's just a lot of stuff teeming in here that are going to do so much better once we get it clear. So I'm going to get you guys set up, gather up all my tools, and we'll just do a time lapse. I will show you everything we get done. We have about an hour and a half today. My dad is going to come out and assist with this endeavor. And I'm hoping that's enough for us to get through this uh, and get it all squared away so it is ready for this spring. So without further ado, wish me luck. <music>
It's actually a new day, as you might have guessed. We kind of got things going in the middle of it, stopped. Um, I finished up that front bed and then continued around the house. I thought what I would do is quickly show you how things are looking. We did do an early spring garden tour last week, so I'll link it here in case you missed it. But everything just always looks so much nicer when tidied up. And there's a couple new signs, even in the couple days since I filmed that tour to now, that have popped up that I wanted to just give you a closer look at. Right now we are near the lake. My dad's actually moving some bags of soil that we're gonna be using in a project that we're doing tomorrow that you will see next week. Uh, but I did come through and trim up all the hellebores we have in here. We moved a good number of hellebores last year. We've got one, two, uh, three, four, five. And then I just did these two little ones right here. They always look so good once everything's neat and tidy. I love it. We have new things popping through like this is, I don't remember what it's called. It's like a spotted pretty blue flower. Uh, and these guys, they're a little cold. Look at all the blooms on this one. It's just looking good. I did spend time just cutting back the couple of things in here that needed it. So we had two Nepeda. I, the foxglove, I just kind of gave a little shake to get some of the dead off because they've already got new growth coming in. I trimmed the Russian sage back, some of them a little shorter than I intended, but this area in general now is just looking neat and spick and spent. Oh, I forgot my rake. The other thing I saw in here that I was really excited about, that right there is a Virginia bluebell. There's one there I saw and let's see right here another one right here. In the last video I filmed, I spent actually more time than you saw walking around looking at the ground where I planted things and had seen no signs of them. Now, where most of them are planted are actually like over there, um, which I'm not surprised that the first place was in the back and a couple here because they get more sun in those areas and they're warmer. So I'm thinking that this means in the next week or two we'll be seeing them hopefully everywhere we planted. The thing that I'm thrilled about these, it means that they definitely were good roots. We planted them at a slightly odd time. Um, normally you'd want to plant them immediately after they start blooming and I think we planted these in like July or August just because we bought some online on a whim and got a good deal on them and planted them. So I'm thrilled to see those. The other thing we did that I'm thrilled with is I came through and tidied up things in the front bed. This is a deer resistant bed that we planted two or three years ago. We've just been adding to, and we did some tidying mostly with hellebores and bits and bobs here and there, but it's looking good. It's ready for spring now. That's what I love about all these little bits and bobs is they just help you get ready for spring. You may see, I'm not sure how much you saw, but my dad and I did come after this. This is a nine bark of some kind. It was 
in the city garden when I moved in a number of years ago. It didn't, it's a dwarf. It wasn't really doing well in the spot. So we moved it up here a bit ago and it had had a rejuvenation pruned onto it by the previous owners. And when we moved it, we did some cause it was a little sad. The good news is now there is enough new growth that has come in over the years that we went through and took out all the old bits. So now it's just this healthy, fresh stuff that one of the things that's a downside when you prune nine barks is they lose their natural vase shape. A lot of them have, and this one does have. So by thinning it out, letting these grow, hopefully these now will start arching and we won't need to do too much more pruning to it in general. We also came through, you can see in here, there's tons of stuff coming in. We've got Brennera coming in, Lungwort. That's the spotted thing I couldn't remember the name of a few minutes ago. We also have some beautiful hellebores that I cleaned up. There's a still be coming through. There's just a lot of stuff. The main thing we did in this video is the front bed right by the house, which is a giant leaf trap. And I'm so happy with how it turned out. There's a couple leaves here and there. In general, we'll come through, pick up a bit, and we didn't remove the fence you kind of see the deer fence is a leaf trap so my dad's going to come do that a different day and get the bits right by the fence but in general we got everything just in time because things again are really booming in here we've got a couple things i wanted to show you even in the day so we started this yesterday and things like this fresh little fern wasn't out so it's pushing through, even now there's a couple, like these are still be that are looking sad. They'll recover. They were just buried under about six inches of leaves that were super thick and hard. So giving them a chance will give them a decent shot. I also gave the hookerellas a trim. They're looking a little bedraggled, but they'll recover quickly. One thing I'm not so sure about is this guy. Now I will admit, I may have pruned this a little bit hard. My mom saw it and gasped. I'm... I have got every finger crossed that I haven't done it damage. Well, only time will tell. The problem was last year it wasn't pruned as hard as I would have pruned it. And that meant that its shape was quite odd. This is a little quick fire hydrangea standard, by the way. Um, and so in order to get the shape back, I had to prune it harder than I probably would have. If I'd been thinking, what I probably would have done is give it a pretty decent prune. And then next year, give it again another shaping prune and give it take two years to get the shape. The problem is, and I, I don't know if anyone else feels this, but once I start pruning, I just kind of keep going. So by the time I stood back and looked at it, I was like, oh, I took kind of a lot off. Now, I'm hoping that this means that it'll put out new shoots. It'll get stronger because there are a lot of wispy stems and it was very oblong and we want to keep that shape. So... It's not going to kill it, I don't think. It just might not be as beautiful this year as it could be. If it doesn't benefit this year from this prune, it will probably benefit the year after. Pruned up our incredible hydrangeas we have here. There's two of them. I'm actually, I think this gets too much shade, but I'd love a third one right there. I think that would be pretty to have three in a row. I like odd numbers. I also want to show you the beautiful hellebores that we they're, they haven't fully opened yet, but they're a pretty double. I just love hellebores. I want to start, keep going a collection. Now these have been nipped a little bit in some unexpected coldness, but they're still pretty, as are the crocus that are coming through. One of my favorite hellebores is actually right here, though. Isn't this beautiful? This is by far my favorite. I forgot we also tidied up this bed, but there was hardly anything to do. It was actually the most difficult. You probably saw me doing weird things with my feet and were like, what the heck? But there's like bleeding hearts coming through, a still beast coming through, pewter. So I had to be very careful where I put my feet. And it looks so blank right now, but in a couple months, it's going to be teeming and beautiful. So that's really it for this video. I know it's a brief look at... Uh, the beginning of the spring cleaning process. We don't actually have a ton to do. And if I'm honest, I think I probably just took care of a third of it in this video. Well, at least 25%. So there's going to be a couple more spring cleaning projects that we um, cover in the next little bit. We're going to be moving some pretty substantial shrubs in the next video you see that I'm about to go talk to my dad about because we're going to be doing that quite soon. 
and there's just a lot to look forward to. So if you like this video, please make sure to hit that thumbs up button, subscribe. I really appreciate you joining me today and I cannot wait to see you next time. Bye-bye.